Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Very, very interesting interview I will play here. Uh, it's going to be about uh, one, one minute and a half, something like this, where uh, <laughs> Mr. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. will uh, claim on two occasions during the same interview, maybe 40 seconds apart, that, and I'm quoting uh, RFK Jr., we blew the Nord Stream pipelines. We, meaning the United States of America, according to Robert F. Kennedy. And uh, it's very interesting that this is not considered anything like uh, fake news or, um, you know, disinformation, misinformation, nothing like that. Now, does it mean that it is true just because uh, a person, high profile person, uh, makes this statement? No, it's not. But the fact that he's not uh, shut up, or at least this is not attacked virulently as uh, other statements were before, you know, remember all those things? Okay. Uh, it tells us that these guys are just, well, so. So let me play, you, uh, play for you this video. Star, it's from an obscure uh, media outlet, but you can uh, find it, I'm guessing, on other... Um, uh, from other sources, uh, RFK Jr. flips the script on CNBC, and I'm quoting, we blew up the Nord Stream pipeline here. Now, the, the imbecile that interviews Robert F. Kennedy is going to turn things around and, you know, uh, cover for the system. But Robert F. Kennedy is brave enough to say what he thinks, his assessment, his, belie his belief, and we should be allowed to have that in a free society, if we are free, supposedly. So let's go. If I'm the economic or environmental minister or the president of Germany right now, and I'm listening to what you're saying, and I've covered this extensively, I've been over there many times, I've talked to them, I've been on the ground, they're freaking out because they need our gas. Yeah, they're freaking out because, uh, because we blew up the Nord Stream pipeline and we deindustrialized Germany. And that's a whole different issue. I mean, what are we doing in Ukraine? Let's make peace over there. Let's get Russian gas back into Europe so that we can reindustrialize Germany, reindustrialize Europe. But let's keep our gas at home and use it for manufacturing and, and re, you know, reindustrialize America. Let's rebuild our industrial base at home. That's the best way to do it with cheap frack gas that we can outcompete the world. You know, Germany, you know, is making a choice to boycott Russian gas. And, well, you know, they're still, and, they're still and, getting and, and Robert, they're, still, they're still getting it via. Now, the cover up starts. And again, he's going to say, you don't believe that these guys are really, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> okay. Liquefied natural gas. We don't know who blew up the Nord Stream. I know a lot of people suspect the U.S. Uh, and that's what you think as well. Yeah, of course. Of course we Hey, we just, oh, of course we blew up the Nord Stream pipeline, but listen. For, and you know that he gives him like, you know, in a volleyball, you throw the ball up, ready to be spiked, hit down. You know you got to, got to, that's the answer. So let me play this idiot again. And, uh, and Robert, they're still, they're still getting it via liquefied natural gas. We don't know who blew up the Nord Stream. <laughs> I know a lot of people suspect the U.S. Uh, and that's what you think as well. And that's what you think as well. We know, we don't know, we know. Okay, my friends. So that is a very short clip um, with courageous, crazy, however you want to call this person who uh, tells us that the emperor has no clothes. Uh, so that's uh, Robert F. Kennedy for you, my friends. Um, other people said that too. And obviously they were attacked by the system. Now. We don't know who blew him. We don't know. That's a fact. We don't know. But we are also entitled to have our own assessments, not opinions, opinions too, but assessments based on information we got, on our life experience, on our imbecility, on our IQ level. We are allowed in a free world. If we're not, that means we have some daddies and mommies that are telling us what we can do and what we can't do. Therefore, we are not quite free. And they are freer than us because they are in charge of us. 
Um, now, um, I think we can hold whatever beliefs we want to hold um, as long as we don't harm anybody or, you know, you don't uh, uh, promote um, certain... Uh, uh, not promote, um, you know, you don't create panic like these guys create panic with, oh, Putin is going to invade us. Wow, oh, that's panic right there. Do you have any evidence? No, their only evidence is uh, actually two, is Putin is crazy, madman, and the second one, eh, they invaded Ukraine, therefore they will do it to someone else. Well, if we use the same argument, United States invaded what? Bombed uh, Yugoslavia, 1999, invaded, brought democracy and freedom to Iraq, invaded um, Afghanistan, bombarded, and then Gaddafi was killed. Not that I'm crying for Gaddafi, but... Uh, Gaddafi did certain things that these guys cannot even dream of doing. Just look at his water project. That's a wonder of the world. But the eighth or something. Just look. Just look what that guy, that the dictator, did for himself, right? To bring the water to the cities and all that. Okay, just another one. And then again, you have Syria. Now they want Iran. No, no, there's no pattern there. But in Russia's case, there is a pattern. Again. And if Putin uh, really was a crazy madman, why didn't he use the nuclear weapons so far? A crazy guy doesn't think of consequences, doesn't have the sense of reality, right? And he could have ended the whole garbage sooner. But he's not like that. Why is that? Well, he considers the Ukrainians brothers. He knows that he's not the Ukrainians, but he's others with other people who live in Ukraine who are in charge of the Ukrainians. So he looks at the Ukrainians as victims and his people are dying in a process, killed by others because of other people's orders and interests. So in this case, uh, yeah, who blew them? Remember, if you don't find the answer of an investigation and <laughs> they knew exactly who uh, was in charge of the attack on Moscow, well, ISIS says this, so we're going to believe. Yeah, yeah. And who said that? these guys. But hey, Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2, um, Denmark, zip it, Sweden, zip it, Germany, uh, what are we gonna do? The Russians not allowed to go over there and investigate, as the other ones. And they say, well, someone did it, but we can't say who did it. All right, so they don't know. And then we got other, other things uh, that uh, we <clears throat> really don't know who did those things. When, when the government tells you they don't know who did certain things, well, it's uh, very, very suspicious. That's all I would say about it. So yes, we don't know who blew it. Uh, we have a list, or at least I have a list, of the main sub suspect. And the main suspect, I think, is Al Capone. Main suspect doesn't mean he did it, but main suspect, I think. And then the Brits, and then, uh, you know, I can, I can just go by elimination. It was not the Ukrainians. Okay? It was not the Ukrainians. Someone who wants to do it, benefits out of it, and can do it. Ukraine cannot do it. It's incapable. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think so. So here it is, uh, Robert F. Kennedy, for you. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.